Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the ARC Arena to where tonight the 0-7 Old Westbury women's basketball team comes in and faces your 5-4 Baruch College Bearcats. Alongside Joe Stolzer, I'm David Josh. Joe, a big win a week ago here against Pratt Ast Institute for the women's Bearcats. Trying to do it again tonight in a non-conference game against the 0-7 uh, team from Old Westbury. Yeah, again, uh, the show begins with me, Castillo. And, uh, I mean, she is one of the better players and getting better every game. So uh, it's, you might say on paper it's an easy one, but uh, when they throw the ball up, the Bearcats still have to take good shots and uh, play D. And we're moments away from tip. It'll be Old Westbury in their green road kits. Baruch in their home white says it'll be Baruch who started with the ball. Alta Morano shot on the far side. No good. And it's going to be Flash who comes away with the first rebound on the, on the evening. Yeah, that was a quick shot by the Bearcats. You want to get your star player touches early. The shot there, no good. Leung comes away with the rebound, and she's going to quickly push left to right. Up ahead to Castillo, who's wide open back door and is able to finish off the glass for great, the first points of the night. Great pass by uh, Elisa, and uh, she knows where to find Mia, and that's going to the basket. So it'll be Harris trying to break down the press. Gets it ahead to Miles. Miles far side three. Hits right rim. No good, but nice offensive board there by Westbury. Can't finish is Ventier. Excuse me, Venti Ventieri. As now it'll be Davidson up top for old Westbury. Baruch in a man-to-man. -man. They just have to move their hands and their feet and help out. And nice play there by Flash going right past Alta Morado and yeah. able to finish with the left hand. There was no help there down in the post. And now Castillo has it on underneath, and she takes too many steps. Nice defense there by Davidson, and it'll go back to Old Westbury. I think there was a little contact there, Dave. Maybe uh, Baruch will get rewarded next time down. So Baruch setting up in their full court press, trying to get that possession back. Edels will be Harris on the near side, gets it into the front court to Davidson. Ooh, loose ball into the hands of Flash. Flash going hard into the paint. Shot no good. Batted out there by Ventieri, and it'll be right into the hands of Leung. Leung going right into the paint. She'll curl back as she's double teamed. Picks up her dribble, gives it out to Castillo up top. Baruch will slow things down. Now Leung into the lane. Her shot might have been blocked there by Flash as she hits the deck, and it's going to be Old Westbury coming the other way. Nice steal in the midcourt there by Castillo. It's a two-on-one. Castillo going right into the lane. Can't finish with the right hand. It's going to be Harris who rips it away, comes away with the rebound for the Panthers, and she's quickly doubled looking for options here to get it up the court. Ventieri all the way up to Flash who's down the other end. And one, nope, she can't finish on the layup, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, on that last offensive play, David, Mia didn't realize how open she was. Shot a little bit too hard. She also had a two-on-one opportunity there with Leung, so you got to play a little two-woman game yeah. and try to move the defense out of the way. That's what they've been doing in past games. So it's going to be two shots now for Flash. And flash off on the first. 
Flesh was 4-4 four four on free throws this year coming in the, to that shot, and she hits the second. You know, Janaya, Baruch has to locate Janaya. She's a post player, and she could pose some problems tonight. Yeah, I agree there. Baruch going to have to figure out how to deal with some of the size with Harris and Janaya now. Oh, excuse me, Flash underneath. A shot there by Leung, off left rim, no good. It's going to be into the hands of Davidson for Old Westbury. Yeah, that's a good shot by uh, Elisa. She, she steps in in the paint and usually makes those. Bounce pass inside to Flash. Flash working on the post against Shantira Grant, who just came into the game. Handoff inside to Davidson. Shot no good. Nope, she's going to take too many steps, and it's going to go back to Baruch. Good defense by the Bearcats, and uh, the defense is what's really going to get them going here. And Coach Petrozo's quickly to the bench as Altamirano came to the, to the bench for Grant in that last stoppage. Now Grant has it on the right elbow. She'll pull. And nothing but the bottom of the net. Nice space there for Shantira Grant getting her first points of the evening. It's nice when your post player can go outside and bring the defense out. Knocks one down. Yeah, to your point there, Joe. She stepped out at the elbow and uh, was able to create that space for an easy jumper. And Mia was underneath for the rebound. So now it'll be Harrison to the front court. She'll pull straight away three. Shot off left iron. No good. Trainer comes away with the rebound. Gives it off to Castillo. Now Castillo's going to push the offense on the far side going left to right here. Ooh, Aaron pass, and that's going to go into the bench of Old Westbury, so it'll go back to the Panthers. You know, Mia's playing with so much energy that you could just tell, you know, passes sometimes just soar at her. She's got so much energy in her body. And she had Leung here on the near side corner, so Brooke had to slow it down. A little sloppy here in the early go, and now as Miles is the culprit of the press working against Castillo. Miles trying to get into the front court. Castillo hits the deck, no call. Miles able to get it before the 10 seconds now. Flash, ooh, Aaron pass there, run right off her hands actually. Davidson trying to find Flash inside, and it's gonna be Castillo coming the other way with it. She'll go into the lane, kicks it out to Leung. Near side baseline jumper off back iron, no good. Ball still loose, and it's gonna go off of Ventieri last, so it'll stay with Baruch. I think Coach K definitely doesn't want Old Westbury to hang around. When you let a team 0-7, nothing to lose, that doesn't bode well. So Baccarella now into the game as will be Leung to come to the bench. McCray free throw line jumper, no good, but Grant able to corral the rebound for the Bearcats. Baccarella now has it up top to Trainer, Looking for an option, find Castillo on the far side. McCray calling for it underneath, but Castillo's going to pull a three, shot no good, and Harris going to come away with the rebound for the Panthers. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of offense by the Bearcats on that possession. I think McCray was calling for it in the post. Uh, Castillo decided to pull the trigger instead, as that's a batted ball as a backdoor pass there by Miles was deflected, and it's going to be a jump ball that's going to stay with the Panthers. Yeah, in the past few years, Coach K has not had a post to present, so uh, he's got one this year, and hopefully he can utilize it to go with uh, the perimeter game of Mia Castillo. Angela, the Italian stallion, Baccarella in the game, the uh, ultra sixth man for the Lady Bearcats. She does it all. A little bit of a mix-up there. It's going to be... Panthers ball underneath with Olivier to inbound. Olivier looking for options. Able to find Flash underneath and one. She was able to establish position on Grant and Grant was a little overzealous on the defensive end with the reach so send the Flash to the line for an old school three point play. Yeah, Coach K will not be happy with that. She owned the real estate down there and had no opposition, you know. And just like that, Grant will come to the bench with Altamirano checking back into the game. And Flash's free throw is no good. So unable to capitalize on that opportunity there where the Panthers, as now Leung on the far side, crossover move, gives it inside to McCray. Her shot a little too strong, no good. Harris comes away with the rebound for the Panthers. It's important for McGray, McCray to get going uh, other than Castillo. We need some help from the supporting cast. And shot there by Flash, no good to your point there, Joe. McCray had a big game last week against Pratt Institute. Seemed to be always open in the post, but it'll be Castillo now on the near side corner. Crossover move, working on Davidson. Trying to find an option, has Altamirano on the far side. She'll pull baseline jumper and knocks it down. And Brook take a one point lead, six to five, coming in on the halfway point of the first quarter here at the Arc Arena. That's a good looking shot. 
So now Olivier gives it off to Ventir Ventiri. Shot no good, a little too strong, but Flash once again there in for the offensive board. She's been having her way in the paint so far has Jalen Flash. I, they're going to have to deny the pass into Flash and not let her get comfortable in the post. Now it's McCray on the near side wing. Gives it over to Altamirano. Altamirano's going to pull. She's feeling the hot hand. Shot no good. Castillo on that long rebound. Gives it outside to Leung. Looking for options on the near side. Has Baccarella. Baccarella's going to put it on the deck. Hand off to Castillo. Castillo's going to pull the near side jumper. Her shot no good off left iron. And it'll be Harris who comes away with it. And it'll be up to Olivier to push for the Panthers. Olivier is going to go right into the lane. Her right-handed shot may have been blocked by Baccarella. Either way, way short, and Castillo comes away with the rebound. She's going to push left to right. Now it's Leung. Ooh, dangerous pass. A little lackadaisical there. And they're going to call the foul there on Castillo. Maybe she's trying to make up for that errant pass. Yeah. And with 5.45 gone here in the first, Baruch want to talk things over. They lead by one, 6-5. to five. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So welcome back as it'll be Panthers ball right in front of their own bench here to inbound as Baruch set up in the full court press. Heron pass there. Baccarella <laughs> comes away with it. I think Harris was expecting Olivier to cut up court to, to no avail. And now Leung out working inside to McCray. McCray trying to go to work. Double team. They're going to say she took too many steps. A little bit, excuse me, actually was an up and down. And it'll go back to Old Westbury. David, Baruch's got to be careful. There's two post players for Old Westbury now. And if they camp out down low, that's going to be a problem. Baruch has really got to stiffen their D down low. You can't give a little couple of unforced errors there because you know when you get the, paint in, the ball in the paint inside there, Joe, you're going to have a couple bodies waiting for you. Yeah, but Baruch again uh, is, let's face it, they're the better team here, but they're letting Old Westbury hang around. So they need to kind of take a deep breath. And they'll have the ball on the offensive end as it's Altamirano gives it up top to McCray. They're going to call, oh, they're going to actually call a push. I think the push was on the screener, Leung. It's going to be the fouls on number 35, Janaya Flash. That's going to be her first. Yeah, she was trying to get over the screen. Baruch has to go for very good shots now, and they'll come. Be selective. So it'll be Baccarella now up top to Leung. Leung calling for the pick. McCray comes over. She'll go right now, right into the lane. Leung going with the right hand. She's able to finish. Nice play there, calling out the, her own offense. That's today's play, David, trying to give themselves room. A little head fake, a little ball fake, and then put it on the floor. And then if not, you have the option with the cutter going to the basket. Yeah. The ideal situation there, Joe, is you're going to essentially create a two-on-one where you're either going to take the, what you have in terms of going to the basket or find the easy outlet. Just with one dribble, she gave herself like four options. Yep. Yeah. Nice pick there by McCray, and it'll actually be Baruch's ball right back as all Westbury turned over. Once again, there's the pick and roll again, and there we saw it, Joe. Well, you can't draw that up on paper any better. Nope, that's how you practice it right there. That, that looks like Steve Nash and Amare Stoudemire, old Phoenix Suns, pick and pop, pick <laughs> and roll. Exactly. Even that one step, you're already past your defender. Now you're just dealing with the, the remaining defender who has to really cover two people in that scenario. You're either going to go with McCray or you're going to pop out to Castillo both are, both are good options there for the Bearcats. By the way, David, Baruch Nation should know that Mika Steele has a very big basketball IQ. She really knows the game. Over, over! So now Leung into the paint, and they're going to call it offensive foul. It's going to be a moving screen on McCray, and it's going to go back to Old Westbury. Yeah, you can't move. You just got to, you know, stand firmly. Now, again, Baruch playing an interesting opponent, a lesser, you might say, can't get into bad habits. They have to play their game. No uh, unforced turnovers. And a danger, I thought that was a pretty dangerous inbound there, Joe, to Harris over to 
Olivier, who loses it, but then hits the deck, gets it back. Ball batted around. It's into the hands of Castillo, and she's quickly going to push the other way. And Castillo right into the lane. Float her around and out. No good. She just can't get it to fall so far. Tonight, well, though. it's the maintenance fault, David. It's not Mia's fault. Mia, an uncharacteristic one of five to start the evening. That, that rim isn't favorable for us tonight. They should have worked on it. And that foul on Altamirano, that's going to be her second of the afternoon. Of yeah, the we, evening, we need me. Altamirano. She, she's a key to knock down shots. But now we can go back to a post game. Okay. And I mean, Jatir Grant checking in for the Altamirano, who's now in foul trouble here in the first quarter. And David, with 2.36 left, Paige Trainer has not even attempted a shot. And she's in the game to be a three-point threat. Uh, and she has not attempted a shot. See if uh, Baru can get her going as uh, they may need some of her outside game as Grant comes away with that rebound. Made it, had some contact underneath, but now Leung's going to push left to right. Has trainer. Joe called her number, and there it is. Shot off front iron. No good. Ball batted around into the hands of Baccarella. Now over to Leung. Well, if trainer gets going, it's going to open up the Baruch attack. Inside, outside. And now Grant comes with the pick for Leung. Leung should pass a bit too high as Grant wasn't able to get the ball as well. she was cutting to the basket. I'll so tell you back what, to the Panthers. Elise is not used to having a post player to work with. So she's got to, you know, spend some time working with her teammate. And now Olivier once again going to oh, lose great, it. Oh. Great play. And it's going to stay with the Panthers. Castillo so close to taking that away for the Bearcats. David, she... Uh, Mia plays just both ends. I mean, she's not stopping, creating, trying to create plays. We've seen it on the last two inbounds to Olivier there. Mia's sneaking up on her, trying to create the steal from the full court press. Is the and, shot and there? And Mia just was a deterrent on that last shot. Nice defense there by the Bearcats. As now they're going to bring it into the front court and slow things down with Castillo. Now inside to Grant. Grant going to turn on Flash, looking for options. Finds Baccarella on the far side into the lane. Step back out for Castillo. Shot off back iron. No good. And it'll be Flash who comes away with the rebound. Well, that's a good shot. It's, not, it's just not falling for Mia. She's open. And Miles to walk things across the timeline. And they'll set up the offense for the Panthers. Now over to Harris. Harris going to turn around. Free throw line jumper is good. Nice shot there by Harris. Well, come around that pick from Flash. David, I'll, I'll love her to do that all night. As long as she's not inside camping out. So it'll be Lee Young now. Gives it outside to Grant. Grant's going to turn and shoot. She'll try to answer at the other end. And that's been her shot all evening so far from that right elbow. She's been money. Thank you very much, Grant. We've been looking for you the last few years. And Flash is shot no good. They're going to say it was a loose ball foul against number... Excuse me, just going to get that number for you. I think it was Venturi. It was. And that's going to be her first. So it'll be Leung to walk things up. Coming in on a minute remaining here in the first. Baruch lead 12 to 8. McCray pops out. Top of the key looking for options. Castillo at the free throw line. Shot no good off front iron, but McCray there for the rebound. Trainer's going to pull left wing three. She knocks it down. Paige Trainer. And just like that, Joe, you want her to get hot. She knocks well, one down from yeah. the downtown. Uh, you know, just spread it across. We got players on the court very capable for the Lady Bearcats. So now Olivier has it on the near side wing. Miles on the far side. Big possession as Baruch tries to extend the lead, ending the first quarter. And Olivier rattles that one home from three. Nice pull there, and they just got to close out on her yeah, quicker. No closeout. That was a gift. Christmas is a week away. We can't give gifts tonight. And Baruch can hold for the final shot. 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. Leung now inside of McCray, wide open, her shot. Ooh, I, thought, I thought that was a little too strong. Well, Able to get that to Le rattle home. Leung should get two assists on that. That was beautiful. Thread the needle. And Olivier half court heave at the buzzer is no good. And with that, Baruch are going to go into the first quarter break up by six, 17-11. We'll step aside and be back with second quarter action between the Panthers and the Bearcats. You're watching Baruch College Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting.
So welcome back to second quarter action here at the Arc Arena between the Bearcats and Panthers. It'll be Baruch Ball to start things up. It's Leon Castillo, Grant McRae, and Paige Trainer on the floor for the Bearcats as Castillo is going to pull a three on the far side. No good. McRae able to finish over Harris, get the rebound, excuse me, over Harris. And she gets fouled as she goes back up with it. So it'll be Harris, the offender there, to send McRae to the line to shoot two. Yeah, McRae is kind of, I think, going to be the difference maker in this game because she does things that don't show up in the scoreboard. And that's Harris's only her first foul of the evening. McCray off on the first. Baruch lead by six as we start the second period here. Good to see that Paige Trainer knocked one down. That should give her confidence to shoot and extend the Bearcat attack. Ooh, loose ball there just sitting. <laughs> no one wanted to get it. And it's, uh, it's well, Miles, Harris, v Olivier, Ventieri, and checking into the game was Thomas for the Panthers here to start the second. Three there by Ventieri doesn't hit anything and it'll go out of bounds. And it's going to go back to yeah, the Bearcats. The Bearcats can let Venturi shoot all day. Uh, doesn't look like she's going to hurt them. So it'll be Castillo to walk things up. And Joe, to your point, yeah, that's the shot you want Old Westbury to settle for. Nice pass there by Castillo to find McCray going back door. And she gets fouled and go to the line. To shoot David, I'm, I'm going to tell you this a hundred times. Me and Castillo's basketball IQ. The timing and wherewithal to let wait that play develop was just tremendous. That's a highlight. And Flash will check into the game as just like that, Melinda Harris has her second foul. Two quick fouls for their starting forward. Well, if McCray's going to camp out, she's going to pose a problem for Old Westbury. Every point other than Mia Castillo is such a plus for Coach K's attack. Then McCray knocks down the second, so Baruch lead by eight. Ooh, Castillo trying to jump in front of that one. Yeah, she, she, was, she was just a hair away from a steal on that one. She's trying to chase down Miles, and now Ventieri has it on the far side. Gives it up top to Olivier. She'll Again, pull a three, step back, shot no good, but it's... Ooh, Baruch uh, just has to watch the post play as they pose the biggest threat for Old Westbury. And... The Panthers able to keep that possession alive on the offensive board by Thomas, but then she takes too many steps as she was coming across, so it'll go back to the Bearcats. Yeah, let the old Westbury post plays put the ball on the floor. They're not going to do anything with that. And it'll be Leung to walk it up and call out Coach Catrozo's offense. Miles comes out on her. Gives it over to Grant on the right side elbow. Finds the cutting trainer. Can't finish. Ooh, a little too short. On the right side layup. Uh, that was a great play, but we, we didn't finish. But Paige will get it back. It'll be Olivier to walk things up over to Miles on the far side. Now it's Grant up. Excuse me, that's uh, Flash up top. Over to Venteria. Now up back up top to Olivier. We've seen her pull a couple times. Her shot blocked, though, by Castillo. Still loose. It's going to go off of, they're going to say it went off of Old Westbury last. And it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Good interior defense. So it'll be Encarnacion checking into the game, getting her first minutes tonight. Grant was really doing a good job of taking uh, uh, Old Westbury's post plays out of the picture with her footwork and her hands. And Castillo will come to the bench for her first breather of the evening as McCray has it now, finds a cutter trainer. Trainer now outside to Encarnacion, up top to Leung. A little bit of a jab step, creates space at the elbow and able to knock it down. Such a crafty player, creates her own shot. And Miles must enjoy ha not having Castillo on her as she gets to walk it across half court line into the front court. I'd like to see Elisa uh, have a big game because she's such a facilitator. Be nice to see her as the uh, scorer. And nice find there but by Sierra Rowe who finds Flash underneath. He was able to lay it Boy, in after that, she established that ball, position. That ball crawled in, David. So now Encarnacion has it. Over to Grant, a little bit of a jab step, looking for options. Trainer now here on the near side, puts it on the deck. McCray has it on top of the key. She's going to pull a jumper, shot no good. However, Grant comes away with it, finds McCray, who's able to quickly lay it in. Nice play there underneath by Grant to McCray. Yeah, the Bearcats this season have really been looking for each other. And a good find there by Grant 
as the ball is inbounded to Rowe and Carnacion on her. Now Rowe trying to bring it into the front court for the Panthers. Has it on the far side into the hands of Venturi. Thomas now inside the flash. Flash trying to go to work. Right-handed hook shot is good as it goes around and down. Well, there's nothing you can do there. That's a real good post move. You don't see the hook shot too often at this level of ball, so it's, uh, it's almost an unstoppable shot if you're able to create position. And Thomas, nice steal there from Grant. And now Miles can bring it up into the front court for the Panthers. Finds Flash in the post. She's quickly doubled. She'll take a step back, turnaround jumper, and rattles that one home. And just like that, it's back to six. Well, I think that they're going to have to deny the ball to Flash because, you know, she's just getting comfortable. Ball on the interior to McCray. Shot no good. Thomas comes away with it. And that's the other thing too, Joe. I mean, Baruch really have to figure out how to hit some shots because right now they're, they're getting out-rebounded on the defensive end. A lot of shots are just not falling for the Bearcats, David. In other games, they usually fall. And the foul there's going to be on Trainer. That's going to be her first as Castillo and McCray will, excuse me, as uh, Mitchell will check into the game. And and Baccarella. So a big swap here for the Bearcats. Well, Baccarella energizes the team immediately when she's on the court. Nice find there by Rowe. Shot there, no good by Davidson off back iron. Baccarella rips away the rebound, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats after the foul there by Rowe. That's going to be her first. Yeah, Bearcats got lucky. That was an easy shot for Old Westbury. Castillo's got to go on a little bit of a run here, uh, David, to extend the lead. And she's looking for options as she has the ball in her hands. It's McCray now up top. Baccarella comes off the screen here on the near side. Hand off to Castillo. It's going to be a blocking foul. They're going to call it on 20. It's going to be Shannon Miles, her first. Team's fourth. So Castillo now has it on the near side. Going to drive right in the lane, a little bit of a step back, crossover move. As she hits the deck and just loses it. I, I, didn't, I mean, I think it was a good no call there, as now it'll be Flash coming the other way. Her shot blocked by Mitchell, and it'll stay right there with the Panthers. They usually give your team's best player the benefit of the doubt. I felt that Castillo earned a foul call with that contact. Nothing doing there from the refs, so... It'll be Panthers ball underneath their own basket. Inbound to Thomas all the way up top. Looking for options. Flash, now, flash posting up. you got to be careful there working on Mitchell on yeah, the interior. Yeah, McCray's got to deny the ball. She's got to deny. Jumper there way off, and they're going to say it didn't get tipped, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Good D, D there to your point, Joe, by McCray getting into Flash's face and really keep keeping her out. I mean, she, she, she like, she's been working on the interior and maybe a little bit outside of her range there. It looks like without uh, Flash, Old Westbury doesn't have much of an attack. So we get that here early in the second period. And Baruch's going to probably talk about it at halftime, but make someone else beat you as Flash, even though, even as you say that, Joe, having a big game already has 11 points and four rebounds. If Castillo takes over, it'll be lights out early. And it's an eight-point lead here, a little bit over halfway gone in the second. Miles almost loses it. Leung all over her. Leung really making things tough for her. Good job. That was all Leung. Even though Castillo got the eventual tip, Leung was hounding her up, the, up through the half court. And, and she made the uh, ball player for Old Western leave her feet. So shout out to you, uh, Leung. And it's crazy, Joe. We talk about it, I feel like, game over game, how criminal it is to leave your feet if you're the ball carrier. Yes, Yet they've we've great seen at point. this level and other levels, too. I mean, not just this level, but consistently on both the men's and women's sides, we game in and game out, half we, in and half we out. We saw that in abundance in the last Baruch men's game. Uh, uncharacteristically, guys were leaving their feet. Jamal Fair and uh, Emil very, Pierisic. Very um, intelligent players just yep. didn't, didn't have it. wasn't their night, David. But I feel like it's one of those fundamental things you talk about, you know, growing up learning how to play ball. Yeah. And we see so many players doing it. Oh, as Baccarella takes too many steps as she was trying to get it out to Leung. And it's going to go back to the Panthers. David, the, the referees are kind of not really blowing their whistle. 
and letting some things that normally a foul calls. So an inbound there to Miles. So now it'll be up ahead. Ooh, that's too many steps there by Davidson. Looked like she wanted to get rid of the ball. Yeah, and she, she, she right was there. going nowhere. Now, who caused that? Elisa Leong caused that by turning her into her own man. Yeah, I think she wanted to look for the pass and then second-guessed herself. Yeah, and she ran into her own teammate. So it'll be Castillo to bring it into the front court, working on Venturi. Pulling the shot to Leong, who knocks it down from just inside the three-point line. They're going to say your foot was on the line, so it'll be a deep two for the Bearcats. Yeah, I think the momentum is officially on the Lady Bearcats' side now with a 10-point lead. Coach would like to go up over 10 into the halftime. So it'll be Rowe now, gives it off to Venturi. Miles going to pull on the near side. Ooh, off Back, backboard, no good. Flash gets the offensive board. She gets the offensive board again. Can't finish either time, though, and it's going to be McCray who comes away with it for the Bearcats, and Castillo quickly to push the other way. She's going to go right into the lane. It's going to be a blocking foul there on Miles, and that'll send Castillo to the line to shoot two. I think the refs owed that to Mia Castillo after so many non-calls. And Castillo off on the first. Yeah, it's a rarity when Castillo misses. Um, you don't expect that. And knocks down the second. So one of two from the line. Baruch extending that lead to 11. This is a chance for Baruch really to get a big lead going into half. And to your, uh, to you know, just play D. And to your point there, Joe, key moment here for the Panthers if you're trying to get back into this game. Because before you know it, it could be 15 to 20 right before half as Baruch now lead by 11. Mia Castillo is just everywhere, causing havoc. And there it is again. Ooh, she almost came away with the steal. She's got to be careful. That's going to go off Old Westbury last. And she has to be careful there. Maybe a little bit overzealous, but great defense there by Castillo. Yeah. Almost. And when you're playing that short passing game, Joe, it almost allows her to go from one player who has the ball to the next to the next without really having to leave her assignment too much because they're all six feet from each other. Mia Castillo causing a lot of problems. She's taking away space for Old Westbury. And now it's out to Murano inside to Castillo. Pass was a bit behind her, and it's going to go back to the Panthers. And just like that, Joe, an unforced error, you know, in possessions where you think you could just start padding the lead, you're going to give the Panthers second and third opportunities. Yeah, that was just miscommunication between two Lady Bearcats. They, had, they got in each other's way. And that's why that turnover occurred. And it's going to stay with the Bearcats, as I think it went, uh, excuse me, with the Panthers, as it went off, uh, I think it went off Castillo last year on the near side. Well, you're going to call Castillo's name often because she's everywhere. She's been very active tonight. The only thing she really has to start doing for the Bearcats is start getting her shots to fall. She's only two of nine from the field here in the early going. The only thing that she's not going to do is wash the team uniforms tonight. She's going to do everything else. So waiting for the clock to get set, it is, and it'll be Venturi right in front of us to inbound. Gives it over to Miles. Castillo once again all over her. Miles has been struggling against Castillo in the in the front in the backcourt, excuse me. Yeah, there's a turnover, there's a turnover waiting to happen. There you go. And just like that, Venturi takes too many steps. Venturi should put a white uniform on because she's helping out the Bearcats tonight. Bearcats in no rush. Now Castillo gives up the trainer up top. Ball swung around the perimeter. Leong here on the near side. And foul there. It was uh, McCray going up with it. The foul there is going to be on Flash. I think that might be her third. So I'm just going to get that, that stat here. Uh. And a great entry pass by Elisa uh, into a, a great position, McCray. And correction, that's only going to be Flash's second. And the, the interesting thing is you already have Harris on two. You have Flash on two. That's been the inside presence so far for the Panthers. So get to a sticky situation uh, if you're Coach Lasseter. Well, what, what McCray is doing is she's posting up, and so she's going to get fouls. And one of two from the line as Thomas knocked it out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Bearcats. 
So with 2.25 remaining here in the half, Baruch Lee 29-17. It'll be their ball on the far side, Castillo to inbound. She has McCray, Baccarella, Trainer, and Leung on the floor. Great body language by the Lady Bearcats here in the first half. Now Castillo on the far side comes into the lane. Gives outside the trainer. She's quick to pull. Shot way short. It's going to go out of bounds and back to the Panthers. Well, you know, shooters got to keep shooting even though they don't drop. Paige has just got to keep shooting. So it'll be Venturi to inbound. Once again, Baruch really setting up in that press. The ball goes off the hand of McCray. And uh, Baruch swarming here on the defensive end, really putting all the pressure on the Panthers to get it inbounds. Yeah, this, this is going to be amazing if uh, Old Westbury gets to half court. So Venturi looking for options into the backcourt to Rowe. Rowe has Leung all over her. Really struggling getting to the front court. She does before the 10 okay. seconds. Over to Davidson on the far side. Davidson going to work on Castillo, trying to get it out of her hands. Now into the hands of Thomas. Miles inside, working on Baccarella. Shot no good, and Baruch's going to come away with it. Ooh, nice crossover at the half court by Castillo. Looking for options. Instead, she'll take it herself. Her shot too strong. Trainer comes away with the rebound. It's going to be a jump ball between Rowe and Trainer, and it's going to go back to the Panthers. That all started with great defense by Baccarella. Made that happen. And that's twice we, this game we've seen Castillo on a two-on-one there, Joe. Really take it herself. Where I feel like in uh, in the past we might have seen her, you know, dish it off there to her teammate. I wonder if she's just trying to get herself going this evening. Well, she's playing with such confidence that she thinks she can make any shot. As she goes right into the lane, a little bit of a crossover. Oh, her shot no good, and Leung's going to foul Venturi, and that just kind of speaks to the night Castillo's having a little struggling from the so doing everything else on the defensive end. Making plays happen on the offensive end, just can't get her shot to fall. She did everything but let the ball drop. I mean, it's got to be frustrating, but she's such a good player that she just has to, uh, you know, have a short memory. So Venturi to inbound. It's over to Thomas. Trying to get into the front court. Now to Davidson. Davidson going to be working on trainer, and that's actually not bad. I think that's – Davidson seems to be pretty confident with the ball in her hands. Get her to bring the ball across the time on as she now has it back. And she's going to take too many steps. And as I'm speaking about her, she really should have looked for a teammate trying to make a play a, maybe a little too much. Once you put some pressure on Old Westbury, they will be susceptible to the turnover. So that's that's something that we need to think about. Just a little pressure. We've seen it all night here, Joe, as that was six, the 16th turnover from the Panthers of Old Westbury. Shot yes. there, no good, but McCray on the offensive board able to clean things up and finish off glass. McCray's had a very productive first half and doing a great job uh, with the inbound pass. That was dangerous from the Panthers. They almost did not inbound it in time. As now Leon covering Miles. I think the ref in. has been very nice to Old Westbury by not blowing the whistle. And it's going to be too many steps on Ventieri. That's her second travel in three possessions, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Coach K's got to be pleased with the defensive effort here in the first half. A couple of burps, but overall, uh, anytime they want the ball, they just have to press. Holding Old Westbury to 24% from the field, and just like that, Baruch give it away. Now into the hands of Miles, and see when Baruch give it away there, that's when line, line, line. Old Westbury don't have to deal with that full court press, and they've really struggled with that on the evening. Yeah, they need to, to get Leung... Um, you know, to be the quarterback up top and work the clock, especially late in the clock. Now Miles has it up top, gives it off to Rowe. Rowe, step back jumper. She was working on Baccarella, no good. Vintieri gets the rebound, gives it outside to Davidson. Davidson puts it on the deck. Floater is good. Nice shot there by Davidson. Baruch have to hustle, though. Only 10 seconds left. Make that seven. Leung going to push. Over to Trainer. She's going to take a step, give it into the corner. Three point there by Altamirano is no good, and that will do it. For the first half, Baruch able to, I want to say, grow their lead a little bit before half, but I think they've, they'll go into that locker room thinking they've missed some opportunities. But they'll, they'll take a 31-19 uh, lead into the halftime. Good two words, David, to sum up. Missed opportunities sums up the first half. And we'll see if Baruch can capitalize on those in the second half. Once again, Baruch 31, Old Westbury 19. We'll step aside, and we'll be back with second half action momentarily. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting.
And welcome back to the Arc Arena. It's second half action between the Panthers of Old Westbury and your Baruch Bearcats. Baruch took a 12 point lead into the half trying to capitalize here as they'll start with the ball here in the second half. So the formula doesn't change for Old Westbury as they have their two post players in the game, which are really is the only threat to the Bearcats tonight. As Flash leads all scar, tied with McCray with all scores with 11. Step out here to Trainer. now over to Leung. She'll drive into the lane with the right hand. Shot no good. Tough shot by Elisa, but she'll, she's coming back looking for another play. She quickly got the ball back, and now it's into the hands of Trainer. Now outside to Castillo. She'll pull a three. Shot no good. Trying to rebound from a rough first-half shooting performance. Leung fouled underneath. How about Leung and the Land of Giants getting the rebound? And to your point there, Joe, able to battle it out there and, and grab a rebound. Key offensive board as Baruch looked for a second chance opportunity here. As Leung actually throws it right away into the hands of Vettieri, and she'll come the other way. Baruch cannot get into bad habits here with this lead early on. And Harris pulling from the elbow a little too strong. McCray on the rebound. We didn't see Harris for most of that second quarter as she was in foul trouble. Harris and Flash both with two fouls each is now Alta Morano on the near side baseline able to knock that one down and extend it to 14. It's good to see other people getting in the uh, mix for Baruch Alta Morano who can knock down shots. Now Harris over to Flesh. Back inside to Harris working on Alta Morano. And she's able to easily lay it in. No defensive pressure there from the Bearcats. Yeah, that, that's not a good sign because if she's gonna camp out, Baruch has to answer. And if I'm the Panthers, I'm looking for that every possession in an ideal world. So it'll be McCray inbounds. Her shot a little too strong. She thought there was some contact. No call. Now Miles going to walk it across the timeline and set things up for the Panthers. But McCray is trying to get Old Westbury in foul trouble. So that's, that's a good thing. He didn't draw the contact on that one, though. As now it'll be Miles over to Flash. Bounce pass trying to find Harris inside. She's able to corral it. She gets fouled as she goes up. They're going to call it on Castillo. David, some of the uh, perimeter players for Baruch are going to have to drop down and help to not get the ball into Harris. And she knocks down the first. Didn't get to see a lot of Harris in the first half, like we said, Joe. Uh, really struggled with some foul trouble. Only 13 of the 20 minutes she was in there, but she has five points and six boards. Last season, Baruch had a lot of trouble with per, uh, post players for other teams. And so Coach K in the offseason tried to remedy that. Trainer shot around and out. No good. And it's going to go back to the Panthers. Baruch is really one post player, David, away from being a really, really top team. Yeah, we've seen McCray work in the post a lot this year. Grant, her post skills have only increased in the offseason. Has now flashed into the front court. Open layup is able to finish. And just like that, it's an 11, so, uh, nine point game. David, look where the points are coming from for Old Westbury. It's no secret. And now McCray coming with the right side pick. Castillo will take it, gives it out the side to Leung. She has a wide open three, shot no good. Harris on the board for the Panthers, and it'll be Miles to walk things up, an opportunity to cut it to at least seven. Yeah, Baruch here. needs a stop here because the momentum is clearly with the Old Westbury, only because of their post threat. Now Miles outside to Harris. The ball's sticking a little bit here on the offensive end for the Panthers. Pull up shot there by Flash, no good. And I, I, I feel like if you're... Your coach Lassiter, you did that's not the shot you want as as the Panthers really had some success uh, in the paint the last few possessions. As now Castillo weaves into the paint, kicks it outside the trainer, and her elbow jumper is good. Pace trainer, it's good when she gets going. She opens things up for the Baruch attack. Dangerous pass up the court to nobody except for trainer, and now it'll be Baruch coming the other way with Castillo. Well, credit the um, person guarding the person taking it out. It's going to be a jump ball call underneath with Leong and Miles tying things up, and it's going to go back to the Panthers. As long as Leong and Castillo are in the game, Old Westbury is going to face a lot of pressure. Alicia, you got 
So it'll be Ventieri to inbound, looking for an option. Dangerous play there. Now Flash able to corral it, though. She's going to try to go coast to coast. She's fouled by McCray and will go to the line to shoot two. I think McCray could have got to the uh, position a little bit quicker. She kind of just rode uh, with Flash. And even then, though, on the, on the half-court inbounds play, able to turn and just go straight to the basket, you have to stop the the uh, the pressure the, um, the drive there if you're the Bearcats. As Flash knocks down the first. Uh, I'm worried about future games when Baruch has to go against post players. Tonight they should really learn their lesson on how they're going to defend players going forward. Every game is looking forward. And they still got their work cut out from tonight, though, Joe, as uh, they only their lead has been trimmed to nine. As Leung has it now on the near side, her shot rattles home. David, that the Bearcats are lucky that there's no three-point threat from Old Westbury. And it's going to be a five-second violation against the Panthers. Yeah, we've been waiting all night for that. The referees have been very kind to Old Westbury. And it's odd. It's, Westbury seems very flat-footed on those inbound plays. you got to create some movement and create some opportunities for your inbounder as it'll be Leung here on the near side, takes the pick right from McCray, right into the lane. Leung thinks about the shot, finds Castillo driving. Great her play. Shot, her shot is a little too short, though, off iron, and it'll be Davidson who comes away with it, but she's quickly double-teamed against the paint, and it's going to be a jump ball, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. So nice D there on the near side corner to create the turnover. Yeah, uh, Old Westbury can't match the energy of Baruch. So the inbound to Trainer here on the near side. Leung has it on the near side wing. Takes the pick right from McCray. Finds Trainer cutting across to the far side. Now over to Castillo. Castillo has it open three. Show pole, and she knocks it down. Mia Castillo knocks one down. That's her first three of the night as she's one of three from downtown. Give her eight points. That was a great shot, but it creates a 14-point lead for the Lady Bearcats and causes a timeout by Old Westbury to think about it. So Coach Lasseter, to your point, Joe, wants to talk things over with 5.37 remaining in the third. Baruch have extended it to 14. We'll step aside. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So it'll be Panthers ball on the far side. They trail by 14 with 5.37 remaining here in the third. And Baruch once again setting up in that full court press. McCray to cover Flash on the inbounds. Looking for options. Has to throw it up ahead to Miles. Miles has a two-on-one opportunity. Finds Thomas. Her shot. Oh, around the down. No good. She gets her own rebound. They're going to call a foul. I thought that was a jump ball, honestly. Uh, well, I didn't hear any uh, body contact. Everything seemed to revolve around the ball. Hands on the ball. That's going to be on Grant. That's going to be her second on the evening. The pressure is great on the ball, but then for the Bearcats, when the ball gets in and gets down low, Old Westbury always seems to be in the right place to try and convert. And and Bearcats have to work on that. Thomas off on the first. And knocks home the second. On the season, only a 55% free throw shooting team is the Panthers as now Castillo now has it on the far side wing. Takes the pick right from McCray. Davidson out on Castillo. Castillo running the offense. Grant has it now on top of the key. Gives it over to McCray. McCray on the on the elbow. Over to Leung on the far side calling for a pick. Instead Castillo will step out. She's going to pull a straight on three and she knocks it down. Back to back threes from Mia Castillo. Extends the Baruch lead to 16. Two great looking shots by uh, Mia. Great form. And Flash almost loses it. Instead, she'll go straight to the lane. She gets fouled, and she'll go back to the line. The foul there is going to be on Grant. That's going to be her third. And very quickly getting into some foul trouble is Shatira Grant. Yeah, great. I, I think that they should just have um, Elisa or Mia on Flash, and they'll take the ball away within seconds without fouling. The only thing there, though, is if they don't give it to Flash on the inbound, 
then Flash has the opportunity to potentially set up in the post and work uh, use some of her size against those smaller defenders. So it's kind of a catch-22 with right. Flash here if she knocks down the first. Well, if I'm Coach K, it's easy for Grant. Just let her uh, get position and deny um, on Flash. I mean, also, Joe, I don't mind if Flash is scoring because no one else has really contributed for the Panthers. If you're Coach Cotrozos, you're not too mad about that, uh, giving up some points to one if the collective Ma isn't Imagine scoring. if Old Westbury had another scorer. Uh, might be tough for the Bearcats. but well, That's going to be an offensive foul. They're going to call it on Grant again very quickly. She's racking him up as that's her third of the quarter, and that'll send her to the bench as Alta Morano checks back into the game. So the Bearcats have to really learn, and this is a lesson, how do you preserve playing with the lead, uh, especially this part of the season? And now Flash in the lane, working on Leung. Shot no good, gets her own rebound and able to easily put it up. She's got 18 and 7. And that's what we were talking about just a second ago, Joe. If you put someone smaller on her who's maybe a little bit quicker, on those type of situations, she'll get into the half court and really go to work. Yeah, Baruch is going to have to shadow Flash Somehow now. I would put Baccarella on Flash. And it's going to be a five seconds once again. And Old Westbury really struggling with breaking down this Baruch press. David, what do you think? I would put Baccarella on Flash and just let her shadow her. Because Baccarella was so active. I don't mind that on the, on the full court. But setting up in the half court, that could get dangerous yeah. for the Bearcats. Then you almost have to go with a McRae or a Grant. Or an Altamirano just to put one of your forwards on. Because Baccarella is kind of like playing free safety out there. Yeah, I don't mind it for the press at all. I think that's not a pretty good thought there, Joe. And it's going to go off trainer last, so it's going to be a turnover for the Bearcats. And the Panthers kind of try to chip away. So, yeah. yeah, in this situation, Joe, I don't mind it at all. And actually, with, with Flash being the inbounder, you could almost have a play where – She's covering it, and that's a tip away. I think that was Castillo who got yeah, a hand on it. Castillo playing uh, free safety. Ooh, Aaron Pasto now kicked out to Trainer. Leung was open in the corner, has to regroup. Castillo thinks about the pass, instead pulls the shot. No good. Davidson comes away with the rebound, but she's quickly doubled into the corner, and it's going to be an offensive foul on Davidson. Nice play there by Leung, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Yeah, Leung, you know, again, such a great basketball IQ. Uh, Baccarella, if you watch, she's everywhere, and I would, I would look to get her the ball. She seems to be open on the wing a lot. So it'll be Davidson who comes to the bench with Olivier checking back into the game for the Panthers. Now McCray inside the paint, working on Flash, gives it outside to Baccarella, back into McCray. Ooh, hits his hair hip, ball's loose, and it's going to go off McCray last. And back to the Panthers. Good idea by Baccarella, but a little bit, you know, there wasn't a lot of room. It had to be a soft pass. I think what happened was McCray was going to the basket, too, and you hit it on her hip. So it's hard to come down, get it here, yeah, and then come up here. You know, you're, you're trying to make that move almost as That's a botched handoff in football, Dave. You know that. We saw that with the Jets <laughs> against the Bills Sunday. Botched handoff. It'll be a handoff now to Olivier on the near side. Baccarella all over her. Now it's Miles over to Flash. Flash going to turn, gives it off to Venturi. Venturi looking for options. Thomas inside, going to work. Thomas foul, shot no good, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. Trainer had her hands full underneath. Yeah, Paige just, instead of staying, she moves her feet, and that got her into trouble. Trainer giving up about an inch to Thomas in the paint, and Grant will ch quickly check back into the game. Shantira Grant working with four fouls, though, so has to be careful here, especially on the interior. Well, the, the interior of Old Westbury, it's no secret. They're going to work as soon as they get the ball. So Baruch would hope to deny entry down low, save themselves a lot of problems. And 0 for 2 at the line on that. Trip so Grant comes away with the rebound and Castillo quickly to push the tempo. Now it's Leung in the corner. No one to close her out wide open and she knocks it down on the baseline. Well, that was a quick bucket. Now Baruch putting on pressure. And Miles wants to watch out for Castillo coming up from behind as Miles able to go right into the lane and finish off glass. Well, that's, that's her a, first basket of the night. Yeah, I was going to say that's the first non post player for Old Westbury to score. 
And McCray is fouled as she goes up with it and go to the line to shoot two. Was that flash on the foul, David? It was. Okay. That's her third. That's what Baruch wants, get these post players to sit on the bench. And Harris checks into the game. She also has three fouls. So both Flash and Harris, the two bigs for the Panthers, working in foul trouble as McCray knocks down the first. It's so critical that McCray helps out uh, Lee Young and also Mia, a three, three-way attack. And off on the second. Ball batted out. It's going to go off Flash last, so it's going to stay with the Bearcats. Oh, yeah, it's going to stay with the Bearcats. I thought they called it the other way. It looked like it went off flash last, and it did. So it'll be Castillo to inbound in front of her own bench. Venturi to, to guard her. Leung has it now on the near side inbounds. Gives it inside to Grant. Harris all over Grant. Grant step back shot around and in. Nice shot there. That was Grant. perfect. Yeah, great play. Great move by Grant. And, Joe, I would say the next about five minutes, maybe six minutes of game action here with about coming in on two minutes remaining is really the key to this ball game. You're talking about an opportunity. Baruch up by 18, could really close the door going into the fourth, whereas the Panthers really need some quick baskets and some stops to keep it going here in, at the Arc Arena. Yeah, and I, I would go to Grant. I would go to her, give us some confidence to know that she's right there with Castillo and Elissa as threats for the Bearcats. The only issue with that is Shatira Grant just fouled out. So oh, okay, it's, well. It's going to be out to Murano now probably for the rest of the way here for the Bearcats. Yeah, because down the road she's going to pay big dividends for the Lady Bearcats. So Grant going to end her night here. 12 minutes, 6 points, 5 boards. And she ends on a great move. So good for her. So it'll be... Uh, Harris off on the first. An opportunity to cut it to 17 here. Some big free throws. And she'll make the second. And that's the other thing too, Joe. Panthers really going to have to hit their free throws down the stretch here as Baruch have been giving them the opportunities from the line. Yeah, yeah. One point is better than three, David. And a great play by McCray. Uh, couldn't at perfect timing. Hey, listen, in the playoffs, that's going to lead to some victories. Plays like that. Bit of a jab step there by Miles. Miles creates some space into the lane. She's fouled. You know, Miles is not a bad player. They just don't give her the ball. They give her opportunities. And that's Castillo's third foul. And Miles off on the first. Miles would probably start on a lot of other teams and be a factor. Great free throw shooter is Miles, shooting 80% coming into the game. And as I say that, well, off on both. We just did the gymnast jinx. <laughs> you blame me for that one as now it's Castillo at the free throw line for the Bearcats. Going to step back out as Venturi on her. Ball swung around the perimeter into the hands of Alta Morano. Castillo calling for it, but instead McCray is going to take her spot on the inside. Gives her the entry pass. McCray going to work. Shot no good. It's going to be Castillo who comes away with the rebound. Out to Leung. Leung's floater no good. They're going to call a foul there. I think it's going to be on number 20, Miles. But, David, McCray did everything right uh, prior to that shot. Great post move. And I'm really impressed by her. Not tonight, but going forward uh, as a really attack for the Lady Bearcats. She's having a monster game, Joe. 14 points, 9 boards, 3 assists. So... Uh, really doing it on on, on the glass and, and contributing in, in and, scoring. And just taking a little load off Castillo and um, Leon. On the season, almost averaging a double-double. She's averaging 9 and 11. So definitely been an interior presence for the Bearcats. Imagine if Paige Trainer could get going. That would be another uh, addition to a great attack. So it's a 20-point lead for the Bearcats with about a minute 18 remaining now the here Bearcats in the ball game. have to be careful. Okay, we're up 20. Let's continue to play fundamental basketball. No unforced turnovers. And that, that was a, a grown woman move right there by Flash, catching on the paint and able to finish with the right hand. That's too easy. And we've seen it actually on limited occasions, luckily, for the Bearcats. But on a, quite a, a, few, a, a couple of occasions, 
post player for the Panthers, really able to establish presence inside. Yeah, I'm worried more about CUNY play. If Baruch has to go against post play, they're going to not have learned from a game like tonight. And it'll be Venturi in the front court. Ooh, almost threw it away there. But now Harris, she goes up with it. Her shot was blocked, and she's able to get the second to go. It's yeah, Baruch is just uh, shying away from her. Somebody's going to go at her. And it's a 16-point lead for the Bearcats. Shot clock and game clock about a second apart. Castillo going to pull from the free throw line. No good. Ball batted around. Still loose. And it's going to go back to the Panthers. So they'll have an opportunity to cut it to 14 with 17.7 remaining here in the third quarter. Baruch kind of being a little bit lackadaisical here at the end know, of the third. David, you know where the ball's going now. It's no secret. No secret. And flash setting up against Alta Morano. Ball swung around the perimeter. And now inside the flash, who has great position, can't finish. She thought she got fouled, so did Coach Lasseter. It's going to come the other way. Castillo going to chuck it off backboard, no good. And that'll do it for the third quarter with Baruch leading 53-37. We'll step aside and be back with fourth quarter action. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting. So welcome back to fourth quarter of action. It's 53-37. It'll be Old Westbury's ball to start things here to start the fourth. So Baruch really has to just worry about two post players. Um, deny them the ball, collapse on them. And it'll be Miles here on the near side. Harris calling for it up top. Flash trying to establish position. Gets the ball at the free throw line. Working on trainer. Gives it outside to Olivier, bounce pass back inside to Flash. Ball's loose. And it's going to be a jump ball. Good and play it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Page trainer had good hands there. Knocked the entry pass away. And a big possession there for the Bearcats defense. Kind of trying to set, establish the tone for the fourth. No, no. G, you got 23. I'm sorry. Mel, you got 15. So it'll be McCray now up top looking for options. Mc Trainer pops out, elbow jump shot is good as she knocks it down. Paige Trainer, that's going to be her fourth point of the, uh, excuse me, her ninth point of the night. Yeah, good looking shot by Paige, and again, uh, she's part of this Baruch attack. If she gets going, a lot of options for the Lady Bearcats. Castillo still playing at a high level, but she's got to be careful now, as that's now her fourth. Well, Coach K heard you. And you don't lose anything when Coach K goes to his bench. And that's a good thing for the Bearcats this year. And I'm almost thinking at this point, you kind of just see how the next three minutes go. If Baruch can continue this lead, I don't know if there's a, a rush to bring Castillo back into this game. Well, I worry about injury, to your point, David. I think she's done a, a great night's work. It's really about now closing out this game. And do you need Castillo back on the floor? As now Flash on the interior, she can't hit. Baccarella comes away with the rebound. Well, what the Bearcats need is to stop the post presence of Old Westbury, and that's not necessarily Mia. 
And now to Murano, entry pass into McCray. Oh, McCray, great. McCray, nice find to Leung, who's ooh, a little too strong with the right hand. Oh, boy, was that a touchdown. And Harris comes away with the rebound and brings it into the front court. Baruk Nation, uh, you've seen the Lady Bearcats play a very crisp uh, game tonight with a lesser opponent, but uh, they came to play as well. So it'll now be Miles over to Olivier. Now inside to Flash. He's quickly doubled. Flash, nice move with the left hand, able to finish. But Elisa did a great job in moving her hands, and luckily that ball got into the old Westbury player, but that's what we need, help. Yeah, she definitely needs some help on there. Is giving up about six inches to Flash as Altamirano stepped back and knocks it down. All these complimentary players producing for the Lady Bearcats. Bearcats right now have three players in double digits. McCray leads all scorers with 14. Castillo has 13. Leung with 11. Throw in seven from Trainer, six from Altamirano, and six from Grant. A well-rounded attack here for the Bearcats tonight is now Flash working inside. They're going to say the shot doesn't count. It's going to be a foul on Alta Murano. But Alta Murano did everything that she needed to do. And that's, you hate when they blow a whistle on that. She stood her ground, put her hands up. And that's going to be Alta Murano's third. As Davidson and Thomas check back into the game for the Panthers. Inbound to Davidson in the corner. Baccarella working all over her. Davidson's shot was blocked. Where was Davidson all night for Old Westbury? She looks like she's got some game. Having a rough night here at the Arc Arena tonight is Leung. She gets fouled on the outside. To your point there, Joe, Davidson only one of three in 17 minutes for two points. Really struggling, though, uh, on the offensive end. She has, leads the game with eight turnovers. So Leung will go to the line to shoot two. They were going to say it's in the act. And she has an opportunity to extend it back to 20. And rattles home the first. Leung is really at the top of her game. Uh, as a floor leader, energy, scores. People forget about her with Castillo, but she can play. She's having a strong game now with 13 points, five boards, five assists, three steals. So doing it on both ends of the floor in 31 minutes. Yeah. Well, let's give a real shout-out to Baccarella, who does things that don't show up in the scoreboard. And now Flash, step-back shot at the top of the key. No good. McCray comes away with that board. Leung going to push ahead to Alta Murano, and she'll slow things up as that was a bit of an errant pass. Finds McCray cutting a little too strong, and it'll be the Panthers to push the other way with Davidson. Yeah, McCray's got to finish because she's going to have that opportunity a lot. I don't think she realized maybe how open she was underneath. I think she wanted to go to the left hand also. And it's going to go up Davidson last. Nice defense there by Leung. So it'll be Baruch's ball. A little under seven minutes remaining here in the ball game. Baruch lead 59-39. Anytime something good happens for the Lady Bearcats, Baccarella's in the area and Leung. So now McCray thinks about the shot, puts it on the deck, handoff there to Trainer. Gives it over to Leung on the near side. Pick right from Trainer. Instead, Leung will go left. High floating shot, no good. Leung hits the deck. Flash comes away with the rebound. Pushes ahead up to Ventieri. And she goes right into the lane. The foul there is going to be on Trainer. Yeah, Paige should have just stood there, and she would have probably got an offensive foul call on. So Ventieri goes to the line to shoot two. We spoke about her earlier, Ventieri. 64% free throw shooter uh, from the free throw line, excuse me. Yeah, Vent Venturi, uh, not a worry for the Bearcats, certainly. And off on the second, Davidson trying to corral the rebound, but it's going to be McCray who comes away with it. She got fouled from behind, and that's only going to be the, third, uh, the second team foul on the Panthers, so it'll be Baruch's ball side out on the far side as Castillo checks into the game. Leung will come to the bench. Then it'll be trainer to inbound. Rowe going to be covering Castillo, and it'll be into the hands of Castillo, who's going to quickly push it into the front court, past Davidson, right into the lane. Gives it outside to Altamirano on the near side. She'll rush that shot, though. A little bit forced, maybe, as bit. Mentiri comes away with it. Yeah, they, they didn't need that shot that early. 
Ooh, nice find there by Rowe. Ooh, it sound, sound like there was some contact underneath with Thomas as she gets her own shot back. She's fouled on the second opportunity by Trainer, so she'll go to the line to shoot two. And, Joe, to your point on that previous possession, not only did I think she rushed the shot, I mean, it was a bit of a low pass. She had to corral it, so, you know, it, it's not really in that wheelhouse to shoot quickly. Yeah, I mean, if she would have got the shot off earlier, the defender wasn't there, but the defender was right on her yep. when she took the shot. And Thomas knocks down the first. I can see Old Westbury giving a lot of teams trouble uh, with these post players because once they get position, they are mighty tough underneath. And she's off on the second. And the foul there is going to be on the Panthers, so it'll be Baruch's side out. And Joe, to your point, though, it's really, and, you know, I assume Coach Lasser is thinking the same thing. Where does that secondary and tertiary scoring come from if you're the Panthers on a consistent night-to-night -night -night basis? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you can't win. You look for post plays, you get two. You still can't win. You look for perimeter players, you get a player like Castillo, and you just need to give her help. The ingredients of a championship. Now trainer up top. Hand off back to Castillo on the near side. Ooh, nice crossover move into the lane. Shot a little too strong, no good. McCray able to get the offensive board and clean th things up, and she's able to lay it in. McCray again has been sensational tonight, uh, just being in the right place at the right time. She leads Bearcat scores with 16 points. She now has 14 rebounds, and that's going to be an offensive foul on number 50, Alicia Thomas. So it's going to go back to the Bearcat. And what that was about that last play is McCray initiated the contact and made the Old Westbury player hit her back. Wonder if it's a bit of a frustration foul there. So Joe. that's a good little bit of acting by McCray causing that. So it'll be Leung to walk things into the front court. Hand off to Castillo. Castillo gonna go left, has to pull back. Nice defense there by Davidson. Once again locking her down. Ooh, Ventieri almost comes away with it. She does eventually. Ball still loose on the deck. And ooh. And they're going to say it went off of Leung last, so it'll go back to the Panthers. How about with a big lead, the Lady Bearcats are still hitting the floor. Good for them, uh, giving it all tonight. So it'll be the Panthers to inbound right in front of us. It'll be Rowe now into the front court. Baccarella on her. Now over to Venturi. Up top to Flash. Flash working on out to Murano. Thomas calling for it in the paint. Instead, it's going to go back out far side to Rowe. Rowe's going to pull a three and knocks it down. Nice shot there by Rowe. <laughs> well, a little bit late for the uh, Westbury there. And that was Rowe's first bucket of the evening as she's now one of two from the field. Yeah, she looks like she can play as well. Where's she been? A nice find there by out to Murano to McCray, who fights through the contact, able to hit the basket, and she'll go to the line for the and one. Boy, McCray's getting better as the game's going on. She's now got 18, trying to make it 19 and 14 boards on the night. And she knocks down the free throw. The emergence of McCray tonight. Very, very good news for the Lady Bearcats. Baruch Nation. Um, this Lady Bearcat team is, is you know, going to make some noise this year. And it's McCray, the freshman, having a career game so far. It's a nice move there by Flash. Can't finish, a little too strong. And Castillo comes away with it. Baruch lead by 21 with four minutes remaining. Now to Leung, looking for options, kicks it back outside. It's Castillo straight on three. High shot, barely grades his iron, no good. Off the right side, Leung trying to save it. Oh, wow, what a move. She ducked underneath the, the rope on the far side as she went to save that ball. Nice athletic play, but it's going to stay with the Panthers. Boy, if this was football, she'd be getting a lot of first downs on fourth and one, David. <laughs> so it'll be Rowe to walk things up for the Panthers. Might be a little bit too late here for the Panthers as they trail by 21 with four minutes remaining here in the ball game. It's Rowe now. Bounce pass inside to Flash. Back outside to Rowe. Ball swung around the perimeter. It's going to be Davidson on the near side. Her three, a little too strong. No good. And it's going to be an over-the-back foul on Ventiri, and it'll go back to the Bearcats. So Old Westbury has some complimentary players who look like they have game, but they just have not produced an a all-around attack tonight. 
and it'll be Mitchell to check into the game for the Bearcats as Altamirano comes to the bench. As far as we're not seeing a little bit more of the bench from Coach Catrozos here as we're under four minutes in a 21-point game. Yeah, I mean, he can go to his bench now, give some people some time, but uh, everybody's contributed tonight somehow. And Encarnacion off on the first. Encarnacion usually uh, does something well when she's in the game. And can't hit on the second. Harris comes away with the rebound for the Panthers. Rowe to bring things up. Baruch going to sag off in their press. Rowe almost lost that handle, able to corral it. Looking Good. for an option. Davidson was going to be that option. Instead, Castillo is able to intercept that one. And she's going to try to go coast to coast and finish with the right hand. Castillo's not finished. She still wants to play at a high level. And on a rough shooting night for Castillo, she's going to actually pad her stats a little bit more. She has 15 points. Seven assists and five rebounds. How about that? But the Bearcats still up by 23. And an offensive foul there. And it's going to be side out for the Bearcats here. They're going to say it was Alicia Thomas on the moving pick. Your best player is not having her greatest night, but your team is up by 23. That's... I think Coach K is going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> amongst the uh, stay left, stay left. amongst the breakout game for DeAndre McCray, 19 and 14, really having a monster game on both ends, and she's been the answer to some of the inside presence that uh, Old Westbury presents. Yeah, yeah. Good, good fortune tonight for the Bearcats as someone else has emerged. That's the beauty of the season. Go, 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 look up. And up ahead to. Olivier, I didn't even see the contact, to be honest. They're going to call an and one, though, and that'll send Olivier to the line for the chance at the old school three-point play. They're yeah, that, that was a real, uh, that was a break for old Westbury because she just went uncontested. They're going to say it was on Encarnacion. That's her first. And shot no good. Long rebound comes out to Castillo. She's going to push past Olivier into the front court. Two and a half remaining here in the ball game. Now inside to McCray, and she's able to get it to go. And that's 21 for DeAndre McCray. Well, again, uncontested underneath for McCray. And now Miles has it. Crossover move. Gives it up top to Thomas. Now inside. Ooh, had Harris wide open. Couldn't hit her, and it's going to go back the other way. So Baccarella and Trainer come into the game. Leung and Castillo will come to the bench, and you'd have to assume, Joe, that would be their final minutes of the evening. Yeah, it's it's good to give uh, players like Trainer a shot. Let her three-point uh, confidence uh, come. Let her get some shots off. Oh, Trainer calling for it. Instead, it's McCray. Excuse me, it's Mitchell in the corner. She goes baseline. Shot a little too strong. Mitchell hit the deck. And it's going to go back to the Panthers with 158 remaining here in the ballgame. Yeah, McCray's still looking to do some work. She's not finished yet. And if that's it for Leung, she had a good, good night of 13 points, five assists, five boards, and did it on both ends. And she also contributed with four steals. And even though Castillo had a rough shooting night, she's going to finish with 15 points, eight assists, and five rebounds, the throwing... Throwing two blocks and four steals. The Italian Stallion came over to contest that shot. And uh, good help by Baccarella. Baccarella just does so much uh, for this attack that you just don't know. It'll be Mitchell at the line to shoot two. The foul there was on number 50, Alicia Thomas, her fourth. And Mitchell able to get that one to drop. Only a twenty, only three of twelve from the line this season. So a couple opportunities to increase that average. Good to see Mitchell um, adding herself to the attack. We're going to need, hey David, we're going to need everybody down the road. So tonight, you know, get yourself ready as play heats up, especially conference play. And we'll see conference play re reignite after. 
the new year on January on uh, excuse me January 3rd. It will be Baruch traveling to York College to take on the Cardinals, followed by a January 6th matchup here against City College at the Arc Arena, and then it'll be all Cuniac moving forward until the end of the season. We got a good feeling about the Lady Bearcats. God willing, everybody stays healthy. And everybody's got some battle, you know, they've been battle tested throughout the uh, this early non-conference season. And they won't play again until the 29th at the Lycoming Tournament in Lycoming, Pennsylvania. Um, and it is finals week starting tomorrow, Joe, and then they'll have the holidays after that. Probably some, pra obviously some practice in between. But a good opportunity for this Lady Bearcats team to regroup at what will be a 6-4 and four record here in the early portion of the season. And Coach K can see what he has. And he has, he has a lot. He's got a lot to work with, so that's a good thing. The next game here at the Arc Arena will be between, between Goucher and the Bearcats. It'll be a men's game on the 29th of December. You know what I'd like to see, David, is that uh, Baccarella tries to assert herself offensively a little bit more because teams are going to, like, lay off of her, and she can help out when everybody else is accounted for. I'd like to see her and Mitchell uh, become more of a threat not big threat, a little bit. And it'll be Baccarella, a bit of a crossover there. Gives it off to Mitchell. Handoff now to Encarnacion, a pick from McCray. McCray cutting to the basket, calling for it. It's going to be Encarnacion who's going to pull the three. Her shot might have grazed rim there. No good. And it'll be the Panthers to have last possession here with 21.7 remaining here in the ballgame. Well, Baruch just wants to finish. Let's finish with a good defensive stance here as the clock runs down. No fouls, just stay in your position. As Miles able to get that shot to roll through, and Baruch will hold for the clock to run out. Well, Miles, again, looked like a good player, but she just wasn't a factor tonight for Old Westbury. So your final score here at the Arc Arena, Baruch 70, the Panthers of Old Westbury 53, and what was a coming out party for DeAndre McCray and... You know, Joe, what, what could we say? She had a monster game, did McCray. 21 points, 15 rebounds, and throwing four assists. And the fact that Mia Castillo did it a lot energy-wise but did not, you know, have her best game offensively, but still she had a great uh, night for most players. But, David, what we're looking at now is a very sound Baruch team with a lot of depth that Coach K can work with. And if they just get their act together against defending the post, we got a very um, a lot to look forward to going forward. Yeah, Joe. So it will be Baruch taking their six and four record into the break as they'll step aside now for a couple of weeks for finals and the holiday break. Once again, your final score here at the Arc Arena: Baruch seventy, Old we Old Westbury, excuse me, fifty-three. You've been watching Baruch basketball. This broadcast has been in conjunction with the Baruch Athletic Department. For Joe Stolzer, I'm David Just. Have a great night, everybody.